leaving three dead and possibly two others wounded. I have with me Officer Douglas Danforth of Precinct 26. Officer Danforth? Uh, yes, Debbie. Officer, early reports have indicated that these deaths are organized crime related. Can you confirm this? Uh, it would certainly seem so, Debbie. The victims were all known to be affiliated with the Parigi crime family. As you know, the family has been torn by a bloody power struggle since last month's death of the recruited godfather, Roberto Parigi. So, do you have positive identifications on these victims? Uh, we won't be positive until we can check the dental records, but these men were well known around the neighborhood as well as the family in court. But just tonight, I've been speaking with some local residents, and they seem very reluctant to say anything about these men. Is that for fear of reprisals? I'm going to have to take caution. Despite his troubles, the Parigi family remains a force in this community. Certainly, nobody wants to go on record identifying these men as criminals, but you also have to realize that the community these men are commanded. They got respect from the community. But that money, does that come at, at a price? Uh, they're family men, and absolutely it does come at a price. We're talking business loans at up to 50% interest, and believe me, if you didn't pay on time, you won't be uh, very lucky. I see. Uh, do you have any leads on who might want these men dead? Uh, right now, our best guess is it was an inside job, perhaps linked to the reports that an internal battle... <laughs> a bloody power struggle or just the beginning? Uh, rival organizations may see this uh, as their chance to rid themselves of the Parigi family once and for all. So what you're saying is the community can rest easy tonight. Uh, I wish I knew, Debbie. In the meantime, residents in the community will surely feel increased police presence. We're on top of the matter, and I'd like to stress that nobody in this community has anything to fear. Thank you very much, Officer Danforth. Again, three are dead, two are wounded, and the culprits are still at large. From the corner of Anderson and Wilder, this is Debbie Woodruff. Back to you in the studio. And one more thing I'd like to say, if you can tune in this evening and make sure if you have any news or any speculation on who these men might be, please call our studio and let us know as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Back to you, Bob.